Hello, I'm Father Timothy Madkin with the Rector's Rambling for September 15th, 2019. Today I want to talk about first things first. How do you start your week? There's no mistake that Christian people rightly start out the week on their knees in church. Some of you might be taken a little off guard by that statement, not so much about the starting in church, but the reminder that Sunday, actually, rather than Monday, is the beginning of the week. Since we start our work week on Monday, we tend to forget that the week actually begins with the Lord's Day. Indeed, in the Bible, the resurrection occurs on what we call the eighth day, the beginning of a new creation. And so before we do anything else, whatever that is, first things come first. Before we go to work, before we watch the big game, before we get together with family and friends, before we even have breakfast, we give God the first moments of our day, of our week. Like a tithe, we offer the first fruits of our time. We come into God's presence to praise and to glorify him. And as we renew the memorial of Christ's sacrifice on the cross in the Mass, we offer ourselves in union with his perfect self-offering. So what do you do to make the Lord's Day special and to make his divine liturgy special? And if the worship of God on a Sunday morning, it truly is the most important thing we will do all week. It demands our finest and our best. And so we should come early and stay late. We should offer our own intentions and prayers before Mass begins perhaps even as our Anglican forebears commonly did, by doing their preparation on Saturday in order to be ready on Sunday morning when it was Communion Sunday. We should follow the prayers and the readings and participate in the responses. We should sing the chants and the hymns when attending the sung Mass. We should pause after Mass to offer our own personal thanksgivings, and pray to use the grace that God imparted to us, especially when we receive Holy Communion. And this is what we mean by a well-ordered life. When first things come first, that means God comes first. And what he commands us in the Holy Scriptures is to love him and to love our neighbors as ourselves. So that means that God comes first. Others come second. I come third. I'm Father Timothy Matkin. If you're in Dallas, come join us at St. Francis Anglican Church. You can look us up on the web at sdfrancisdallas.org. Please like and share, and we will see you there. God bless.